sexy little bastards out there. Good morning and welcome back. Glad you made it. That's another social production. We're doing it on April the 7th, 2023, wherever you're joining us today. Thank you for joining us. If it's your fear, if you're tuning in from Toronto, what's up, GTA? If you're tuning in anywhere else in Canada over there in the West Coast, BC, anywhere in the middle, Alberta, Saskatchewan, up north in the Yukon and the Northwest Territories, what's up, everybody? Nova Scotia out there on the East Coast, what's up? Down south in the U.S., further down south in Mexico, South America, of course, skipping over in D. We're flying over the Atlantic, flying over the ocean, flying over the Pacific as well. We'll go all around, baby. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. We'll go into the. We'll dip down in the Indian Ocean. We'll all the oceans, all the eleven oceans, baby. We'll fly over. We'll fly under. I'm talking. We'll, we'll land in Africa. We'll land in uh, Europe, Middle East, Asia which some say is, you know, South, South Central, South Central, Southeast, the Southeast they call it South, it's all, it's, Asia's huge, so it's all, you know, it's, it's divided into different names, Porsche, but it's all Asia, so, you know, but that's what it is, and then we'll skip over in New Zealand, Australia, as per usual, the islands, Anywhere else, North Korea, what's up? I don't know if they can watch, but in case you're watching, man, that was a high, you're doing a, you're doing a high stakes, high wire act. If you're, I don't know how it works in North Korea, but what's up, no matter, it's what it is. I don't know where you're living. I don't know where you're tuning, it's global. That's what, we're a family, we're a global syndicate. We come in here Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, tickle each other from afar, from a near, we have some fun. We shoot the shit with the boys and the gals for about 45 minutes to an hour every week. And then everybody's on their merry way and we come back and do it all over again. So if it's your first time, buckle up, buckle down. We have fun. Things get out of control. Things get out of hand. And then we reel it in and then we let it get out of control and out of hand once again. And it's Friday. It's Good Friday. One of the best Fridays there ever was. So happy Friday. Happy Good Friday to you. If you're... If your Friday's good, if you're enjoying it, I believe it's a long weekend. I've been, for me personally, time has all just been sort of uh, days, months, years. It all feels very like, I don't, you know, it's, but it is good to just for a second recognize that, oh, it's whatever it is. It's a long weekend. It's a, it's a family holiday. It's a holiday nonetheless. You spend time with your friends, family members, or you might be like, you know what? I'm the type that's like. I only celebrate one day, and it might be your birthday, or it might be your, it might be Christmas, it might be, I don't know what your day, everybody has a day, everybody, but it's good to get a little bit of, you know, half a day here, half a day there, or just a little bit of time off and uh, re, you know, re-energize that little brain of yours, your, your body, your spiritual being, your physical being, your psychological, just be like, let me, let me reduce this bad boy or bad gal that I'm working with you, and I'll come back and I'll do it again on Monday. But whatever you're doing, man, it is, oh, look, the cameras are moving again and once again, today again. Uh, boys and girls, bear with me a few seconds. Let's get this. Oh, there it is. Move it, move it, move it, move it. It's moving on its own. Mm. A lot of exciting events are happening. I'm looking forward to the UFCs this weekend. You know what it is. The cards are stacked as per usual. I'm excited. It's going to go down Saturday evening. Or I gotta check the time, but it's Saturday. It's happening Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Two eighty-six. Let's go, boys and and gals out there. Let's see some, you know, master class jujitsu, martial arts with the punches or the kicks and the. Oh man, the skills are unbelievable. It's exhilarating each and every time, and I'm looking forward. And we'll discuss it uh, probably a little bit more in depth. We'll see what it. I, I'm too excited for it. I can't even speak it because there's like, you know, there are people that you know you're root for. There are people that are like, oh, right there. Just like when they're fighting, it's like you're just like, come on, let's go. And you want to see them succeed. I don't even want to put names out there. But you know who you are, man. Ladies, gents, it's exciting. I'm rooting for a bunch of dudes. It's just, yeah, I get a, it's what it is. It's what it is, what it is, is that it's hard to, yeah, I don't even know how that's, it's admirable. Because I, it's the, it takes a special type of individual to be able to do that and I'm still like I'm st I'm just a, you know I'm just a fan I'm just a fan I admire it I respect it 
I enjoy it. Thank you. And I'm going to be looking forward to tuning in and watching all the action unravel right before our eyes. Will there be pins? Will there be, will there be arm bars? Will there be triangles? Will there be squares? Will there be circles and X's? And who knows? Combination of the L1, L2, maybe throw in an R1, R2, you know, standard procedure. Just that we're, and we're now getting into, you know what it is. You've done it before. You're just going in there and now it's time to dance, baby. Let's dance. Is what I would say to myself if I were, you know, it's, if I were fighting, I'd tell myself to dance. I don't know how much that would pay off. Dance, baby, dance. Get in there and dance. Show it, you know, but that's, I'll get in there and salsa. I'll get in there and tango. I don't know how it'll work out. Probably not good. Probably not, but like it's like, you know, not dancing in there. I won't, you know, the, when you say tango in the fighting game, we all know what tango means. It's time to tango. It don't actually mean you gotta, you know, I'll, I'll go ballet on your ass. That's, you know, that's just fighting jargon, I think. Anyway, anywho, anywhere, anytime, any place, anyhow, ladies and gents, it is Friday. And again, I hope you're having a great time. It's, uh, it's exciting times. I had a chance to go on Wednesday. I was, you know, I got lucky and I got to witness a band in Toronto. Just, you know, they were, they were playing, or there was a band there was an event, I was lucky enough to be invited, and I got to enjoy a show, and I appreciate everybody doing, man, it's just, yeah, you see this, it was an 11-piece ensemble, uh, it was a multicultural band, 11 people, singers, uh, instrumentalists, singers and instrumentalists, like, they, they did it all, and it's, it's crazy to watch that, man, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, because that's what it is, sometimes you don't even music surpasses all sorts of boundaries of time space and it just like connects people and it's a really cool feeling to be in a room and watch people just sync up we are humans and man you want to you want to get people to sync up you put on music son feel me ladies you put on music and all of a sudden all the bodies are in sync moving in one motion everybody's you know it's sometimes the singer will do like a little you know she'll She'll do a little, you know, she'll do a thing with her voice and then it'll like, you know, and then the crowd will do a thing with their voice. It's incredible. I love it. There's some to be said about that. You know, I, I believe we are drawn to social events like concerts, like uh, sporting events, like, uh, you know, anything that there is this human need and desire for one, obviously like community, but also, I guess, you know, because we've been coming out of we the world is evolving on a daily on a, on a yearly on a weekly on a monthly every decade every you know every hundred years we're, we're moving along and we we lose a little bit of some some we gain a little bit of some some but over the over the period that we've been evolving and moving forward i think there's definitely i think we all see it and i'm not you know i'm not here like i, I it's what i'm trying to get to is that i think these events whether it be whether it be sporting events, you're going to a stadium, you're going to cheer for your dudes and your ladies, whoever you're cheering, you're going to cheer for a team, but it's not just for the team, it's not just for the sport, it is, it's just for the game, man. it's for the love of the game, it's not just for the concert, it's not just for the song, because the songs are there, the music is there, but it's, there's that, almost, and I've never even experienced it, but the closest thing that I would assume is like a spiritual, if that, you know, and I don't want to, it's, it's what it is, it feels like a, not to like, I don't know what I'm saying, dude. It feels like it feels like once this entity starts existing in and of itself, because you have hundreds, thousands of people, and they're all individuals, but all of a sudden there's this like one thing that it's we become really. It's it's like I don't even. It's it's magical, is what it is. So I'm very lucky that I got to witness that. Thank you, everybody, and uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun, and it just uh, just reminds me of. What a beautiful city we got, what a beautiful, you know, and I'm uh, down the line, we're gonna be doing this, that, and the other. But Toronto's been, I, I love this city, I love Canada, I love Toronto, it's always been near and dear to my heart. It's uh, it's home is what it is. And it feels there's a lot of, it's, I got a lot of love for the city, it, it's, it's what it is. It's, I've had the opportunity to live in different spots throughout the years, I've, uh, you know, and 
going to different places, just seeing the mixture of people, that's, it's really neat. It's and I'd like to see more of it, obviously. And uh, yeah, wherever I may end up, I'd like to, you know, I, it's the thing, these are the things that get me going. These are the things that like inspire you in different ways. And uh, yeah, I just love people doing it. And I, uh, I'm really happy and I'm really grateful that I got to experience this. With that being said, ladies and gents, it is Friday. It is Friday and I know what you're all thinking. Let's get right into it. You are sick and tired of what? Let's talk about doggos for a second. If we may, if we can. Doggos for a second. You are sick and tired of picking up your dog doo-doo. That is so 2020, 2021, 2022. We're now in 2023. I'm thinking we've got the tech, we've got the AI, we've got the doggos. Two adjustments if we could just implement in the doggo world together and just see things evolve for the better. I'm thinking bionic arms on doggos to pick up their poop and you don't have to bend down and pick up their poop. It's simple. It makes sense. We're there. This is the future. Why are we not doing this? Removable bionic arms. So when you're going out on a, you know, you're going out for a walk, you know what time it is, pooch strap on them bionic arms or maybe just one arm just for the you know what i'm saying and two arms one's going to be bagging one's going to be grabbing and that's it come to love your new half bionic dog essentially until we like merge them too because it's not going to be like we can't just be the only ones that are going to be merging with machinery you got to see because that's can't be out here because there's already like you know they gotta they gotta evolve with us if we're gonna little by little go friggin bionic and start you know altering the dna's via crispr and what have you next thing you know we're just we're like anti-nuclear now we're we're trying to step towards that direction because you want because that's what it is there's so many things happening in and around the world and you're like man well how do we prevent from how do we prevent disastrous events from you know ruining lives well you could you could try to, you know, cooperate together, but also if like cooperation is, let's just like change the DNA. So in case of a little accident, a little, little uh, spillover of hazardous materials, if you will, a little bit of, you know, mushroom cloud goes off here, mushroom cloud goes off there, and uh, your genes are edited so that you can hopefully just be like, this is, man, it's just smoggy in here. It's just smoggy in here. I'm tired of this, like, you know, because, like, that's what it is. People of the past used to, you know, you got places in the world where uh, nuclear accidents happened, whether it was from a nuclear power plant or a bomb or something went off, and, like, the, the area becomes hazardous. You can't go, all of a sudden, the trees are all fucking, like, you know, deformed. The dogs are barking, but on, you know, but it's a different pitch or something. They're, they're a different color frogs. Frogs that used to be beautiful green frogs are now black frogs, which are still beautiful. But what happened to the color of the friend? We're like, man, that's like, and then you try to put a positive spin on here. You're like, yeah, they're, they're now getting, these frogs are now getting more melanin. And yes, of course, but like, but, but they were green before. So, Instead of you changing color because all of a sudden you're exposed to hazardous materials, boys and girls, ladies and gents, you gotta, you know, we'll change the DNA up. We'll just snippety snip, 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 splice and get you to be okay with because that's what it is. You can't control the whatever happened, but you can control yourself via editing, you know, alt, control, delete, cut, paste, all that good, good. So we're evolving, but it's not fair that all the lifting is done by the humans if we're going to be if i'm going to be in like 100 250 you know 500 years of art not me personally but are like well they do say 2030 is the year that we're all going to be friggin immortal so let's say but let's say that's like you know that's maybe that's whatever i'm not even thinking about but what, what about the what about our kids and i don't even have kids but are like collective what about the human beings right so we're evolving we're gene editing and all of a sudden you still got these rag dogs fat not even picking up their own damn poop we're going out of our way so that should something of a, you know, uh, hazardous material starts leaking and oozing all over the place, you and I can just walk through it, dude. It's like a good portion of the earth might be just friggin' neon lime green for a few centuries. We're going to need to be able to like just walk, just walk and breathe normally. 
Ooh, this sulfur would normally burn my nostrils, but today, a new man is able to walk the walk without being like, oh man, my tear ducts are leaking, lame, weak. But also, like, it's, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with what we got. I like what we got. I know, but I'm still, I'm, I'm a fan of change as well, because they do say you got to change it up. So I'm a, but that's the thing. Since we're going to be little by little, you know, and it can't just be us. The doggos have got to gain an arm or two, because I'm, I'm just saying, man. It's, they used to say doggos are a man's best friend, a lady's best friend. Makes sense, but I got to tell you, these bots be looking kind of tight with the, you know, with the, now you got the, it's just coming with accessories. I'm just saying the doggos have got to step it up. That's one. Second little tweaking of the doggos, if I may, I'm tired of doggos just sitting in the back seat or the front seat, sticking their beautiful little heads out the window and just, you know, tongue out in the air, saliva everywhere. It's what it is, is that it's 2023, we're going into 2024. Before you know it, it's going to be a new year. Let's mount these bad boys and bad gals on top of the roof, right? Everybody, like, it just makes sense. It just makes sense. First of all, we've done the surveys. We've done the research. We spent a ton of money on the science. We got the top 10 uh, doctors with uh, questionable licenses in the world, all collaborating from all corners. When we developed, we it's like... Let's create something here that'll like change the game. So we developed these little these little suction cups for the little cute little paws and it comes in small, medium and large. And that took so much time and science and money to figure out because like sizing, what do you, it's so easy to just, but we don't just hypothesize. We don't just write down theses. We don't just be like, we, we actually put it to the test, 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 testing. What's practical? Where can we send? Where like it's when it, when it comes to money, money's no you know we don't we we splurge baby on our research and I want you to splurge with us splurge now we emptied the entire bank. Uh, I personally had to bring in, you know I got a second mortgage on the house. I got the other people to get a second mortgage on their house because this is a collective. And we did the research, but we made these little cute little boots if you will, for doggos, it gets mounted on top of the car. And there it is, your dog's having now up to what, 75, sometimes up to 85% more fun. And that's fucking facts. So do you wanna be living in the future or do you wanna just be like, I'm gonna deprive my dog of 75 to 85% uh, less, you know, deprive him of 75 to 85% more fun. Give them, give them less fun is what you'll do. Boo, boo, you're, you're gonna be in the past, man. The future is friggin' dogs with bionic arms and little boots that get mounted on top because that's, that's, that's lovely. You wanna see a golden retriever lose his mind. Mount it to the top of the car, baby. See how fun that is. But you do gotta be careful with like low bridges and like, you know, but that, that should be fine. That should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, it's what it is. I'm just, you know, or you know what, if, if you're worried about like, you want to have your, you want to have an eye on your dog, you want it. Cause like upstairs, if they're on the rooftop, visually they're out of your sight. They're having all the fun. If you don't feel safe that way, you're like, what if, uh, you know, what if a bird doo doo's on them? And that's just like disrespect. You could play, you could, we could mount it easily on top of the hood of the car, dude. That's fine. And still, the birds will be able to still do do on them, but at, at least you'll be able to, like, you know, flip them a bird in reverse. You know, what I mean? it's just like, oh. Well, it's going to be pretty hard to hit a moving target in terms of, like, it, accidents do happen, but that's the worst. But again, if I think the 75% to 85% increase in optimal fun for doggos and yourself. Ladies, gents, what have we been doing here for a uh, low, low, you know, we'll, we'll do three and we'll do three installments of payments monthly, you know, we'll, uh, 399.99. And if you call now at 1-800-256-376-5445, we'll throw an extra mountain boots for like, you know, do you, do you want to get mounted to the, if you want to get mounted to the top of the roof of the car or the hood of the car, we can mount you on top of the hood. Like it's, 
Because it's all about people didn't do it because they thought like it's it's not going to be safe. But these are again, I'm talking about ten of the most questionable scientists who would do all sorts of research with minimal resources. Actually, you'd be surprised because we do get a lot of funding. Not all of it goes to the doctors because you want. I figured it's a little thing that you do. It's if you you got to keep the doctors a little hungry. You feel me? Tell them the funding's coming in, but don't give them all the funding till like the, and that's, that's what, it, that's where the good stuff starts developing, baby. That's when you come up with shit like boots on a friggin' car for your doggo. And that's, that's what I'm preaching today. That's what I'm putting out there. That's what I'm spewing, baby. We're doing it. It's Friday. I hope you're doing well. Get a sip of this bad boy right here. Mmm. 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 The coffee is so good. Can't get enough coffee, I'll tell you that. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, we are, we're traveling, baby. We're traveling, we're tripping, we're having a ball, and it's just, uh, it's good to be alive. It's good to be alive, I'm glad to be here with you guys and gals out there. And it's all about having fun, baby. It's all about having fun, that's what we do around here. Let me get another sip of this bad boy. Mm. Because a lot of people don't take the time to really enjoy that sip. A lot of people are just like been sipping for ever. And you don't take the, but it's the little moments in life where you're like, man, let me just, let me taste the flavor of that coffee for a second. Let me just have that sit on the old tongaroo. What are my taste buds saying? What am I, what's my palate saying? How do I feel about this coffee? And it's like, oh, this coffee is amazeballs. That's what this coffee is. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, I've also been thinking about changing another game. What am I wearing today? It just happens to be uh, a little quinky dink, but nonetheless, it helps this little portion move along. Ladies and gents, I've been thinking of helping out our men and women in uniforms. That's right, all men and women in uniforms, but specifically the men and women in uniforms and the armed forces. Whether you're in the army or a copperoo, you're out there, you're a copper. You're a copper, you're a military male, uh, you're a military man, you're a military woman. You are wearing uniforms. You are there doing the serving and protecting. And it's a hard job. And sometimes it's a thankless job. Sometimes it's a job that I'm about to sneeze and I feel it coming. And it went away. And it went away. And that's just breath work. And that's how you avoid a sneeze if you need to. I wasn't trying to, but it just came and went. I'm sure it'll come back. I'm sure it'll come back. Point is, ladies and gentlemen, that the uniforms need to be updated a little bit. The uniforms need to be updated a little bit because I see men and women out there, you know, cops, uh, lady cops, uh, male cops, uh, male military people, female military people of people who are serving doing the hard you know the things that are you know allowing us to do our thing but that's the thing here's the should the you know the jobs are difficult the jobs come with you know you're putting essentially what you're doing is it's you're the first you know when it comes to emergencies let's say there's an emergency you're the front line of that emergency you know what i'm saying so do you want to be in a and I'm a fan of this man I'm a fan of I'm a fan of uniforms being fucking tight being you know fitting your body giving giving you a little shape giving you a and they, and they say men and women in uniforms look tight and and they they're not lying they do look tight a female officer fucking you know tight fellow with a hat and a Nice, you know, whatever their uniform, because they got different, you know, I'm talking Navy, I'm talking uh, Army, I'm talking uh, 
the Air Force, and then you got cops on. But that's the thing; it comes with a territory of danger. You are essentially at times when that emergency comes about, you are putting yourself between the danger. Here's the here's the danger. Here's potential people that you need to be protecting. Danger. And then you put yourself right in between them. So there's you're you're right there facing danger. And it's so easy for people to like be like, oh that's a that's a copper. That's a military. Because like the and yes, the giveaway is the outfits, but I'm saying keep the outfits. I like the whole camel, that's fine. Or I like when cops are wearing all black, it's cool too. But I think it's just a I think we went wrong in how we taper these bad boys and bagger. Why why is it that you can, you know, you can see the entire outline of their body. I'm saying we go, we change the game up. People who are serving should be wearing extremely, extremely, extremely baggy clothing. Think about it. Think about it. All the time that these people are going out there putting their lives in danger. And if anybody wants to, you know, you're out there in the middle of the jungle with uh, goggles that enable you to see through trees and dense, dense, bush you want to see through that dense bush with them goggles uh guess what somebody else may be looking at you know somebody else is goggled up looking at you with an x-ray vision or you know infrared maybe they're a little bit info blue you know and yet whatever the color may be the end for you is what it is and that's the thing they find you they see your body and they're like oh it's outlined right there that's where it is that's where all the heat is fan that's where all that's coming on it's right there you see it but if you got big old bags that just fucking loose baby i'm talking what are we are we running low on uh, uh fabric i'm sorry what what year are we living in again oh did somebody say it's the future already yes it is why are we skimping out on why are we giving them tight clothings that are like oh let's go loose Let's go real loose, fucking like just, when you see a male police officer or a female police officer, their clothes should be so loose that in the right climate, they could easily be swept up by wind and just escape danger or use the wind to flow towards danger. You know, just, you gotta, right there, baby, right there. But like, you know, you gotta, it's gonna, but just baggy and like that's the thing you get into a you know it's a domestic dispute you got to go and uh, help out a family with domestic di you go out and there's a bar fight in the middle of the bar fight you're in the middle of a bar uh you know you're you're badged up but like it's off duty time you and the boys are still in gear but that's the thing you're just enjoying some we're just enjoying some uh what we're just enjoying some beers and listening to some country music baby uh, and guess what? We're, we did a we did a fine job today, boys. High fives all around, low fives all around the table, mid level fives for everyone. Clinkity clink clink. We're drinking beers and we're listening to country music. Thank you very much because that's the way you're. And then guess what? Boom! Pops the door. It's with a kick. Somebody enters with a. It's a saloon door. I like saloon doors. More saloon doors. We should bring that back. We should bring that back. That's that's another aspect of life that I'd like to see. You know, more saloon doors. Too many doors are just fucking like, ah, oh, regular do saloon doors. All doors should be so that you kick it open. Or like, head, it, just head right into it. And the beauty of these doors, saloon doors, you never know when it's opening or closing. It's just like, you know, it's opening your interpretation. Is it open or is it closed? It's flapping both ways. Which is really ahead of its time if you think about it because doors now just like swing one way whereas doors if you really thought about it is it for an entrance or an exit both why shouldn't i be able to flap both ways baby I, I, don't, don't you hate it when you gotta like read a sign pull push i'm 33 years old i don't need a door to tell me pull or i should just fucking like it should just be if i feel like pushing i should push and it should open if i feel like pulling i should pull and it should work I don't need to push, pull, uh, and then you walk into it, and it's like, mm, just fucking, oh, oh, it says pull, I push, it says push, I pull. Flappy doors, saloon doors, so that we are, you know, thousands of lives could be saved, but.
going back, there's now a bar trouble. Somebody just popped open and closed the saloon door and now they're in there. Oh, they want to change the music, son. They want to... There's a live band, as a matter of fact. These guys are drinking bottles of beer and chucking half the bottle filled with beer at the, the guitar players and the singers and the dancers. Yeah, we got dancers in this bar. It's a nice bar. It's a little honky-tonk, but it's a nice little bar. So that you just drive up here, park your car, park your bike, get inside, let's have some fun. But the point is, these boys are in here looking for trouble. Well, you're gonna have to get some. Try finding me, that's what it is. When you come looking for the, and when the sheriff's in town, or when the, you know, when the, when the team's in town, you're, you're, maybe the sheriff's back at the, back at the police, whatever, station, lodge, Police headquarters, but there's got to be more than one. Police station, I believe that's what they call it, the stations. They're stationary cops. With, how do you, you stationary, they're stationed at the station, but then how do you, but then how, how do regular cops exist? Is there like, do we have sedentary cops and like mobile cops? Because the stations for the stationary cops, then what's the, the... Oh my god, the system needs adjusting. The point is, fam, Troubles walked in and they want to, and they want to start the fight with that. Okay, let's, let's go fist fighting. Guess what? Fists are coming in, going in and around, and they're hitting, but they're missing everything. Because here's your head, right? Typically, your body would follow this pattern right here, but we will train our officers to place their head where it normally would be and then wear these large baggy outfits and just slightly just what is it over oh, slightly to the we're slightly to the left you see my you see my head is all like normal but my body is slightly to the left and now you're punching the bod you think i'm gonna you think you're just gonna go work the midsection son the midsection's been removed to the side and then you're like i get it i'll head to the side fam but you don't know these baggy clothes be hiding and now i'm over here and still what stationary body move to the side punches or oh, just missing right there and guess what with each punch there's an exertion of energy they're getting tired 35 minutes into punching and you're just like head head still body moving head still body moving punches and it's just you're working your core you're exercising this guy's getting tired and guess what he's only been working on the punching you know but that's what it is baby now you fade now you fade and now you're just like, we're, we're, yeah, and that's what it is. Now he goes for the knife or root. The knife or root comes and goes for a little shanky, but guess what? Misses. Why? Doesn't know where you're at. Boom. Right there. Now you take it outside. Gloves are off. Those yellow neon gloves that you used for washing dishes are now off. Those gloves that you use for hockey are now off. Your baseball gloves are now off. They kind of that you sometimes refer to as a glove is now off and it's about to get, it's go time, baby. So there might be some gun action. There might be some bullets flying, but guess what? All you gotta do, maintain the head, move the body, maintain the head, move the body. Unless they aim for the head, which is like no bueno, but then we gotta, we gotta figure that bad boy out as well. But what I'm saying is like, think about that. And in the jungle, the same thing, you're in, deep into the depths of an unnamed jungle. There is a guerrilla unit. That's what they call guerrilla soldiers. We might be funding them too. So it's it's crazy that, but you're, you know, when it comes down, when the chopper dropped you off, we didn't have time to question that, you know, who's funding who, within the, who's doing the guerrilla fighting? Are we the guerrilla fighters? Is this the, what is going on? But nonetheless, you're in a situation and wouldn't you again want to be having all the advantage of like, you know, your opponent, your NMA, not knowing where you are, my friend, what do you do? Bag it up. Large, extremely large clothing items. No more, because that's what it is. Yes. Will you be a little bit slower when it comes to running? <laughs> As if you need to be uh, running in 2024, you know? So let's change that bad boy up. Uh, it'll take some time for everybody to adjust to their new uniforms, but that's what I'm implementing. Uh, I say, if you know, you just 
you just let me know if you guys are cool with this and we'll make it happen, baby. We'll make it happen. And all of a sudden, everybody's just wearing extra, extra, extra large clothing items and avoiding all sorts of injuries on the job. So you're welcome. Looking out for the team. Uh, boys and girls, ladies and gents, I've also... Let me get another sip of this bad boy because the throat needs to be hydrated. Hydrating the throat. Hydrating the throat, baby. Gotta, gotta keep it hydrated. I'm tired of things that sometimes, you know, I'm, I like to be, I don't let things get to me. I don't let things bother me. Uh, when something goes low, I get high. When I get high, some, some things uh, go low. And it's all about maintaining a balance, but sometimes even, you know, we, we all get tested. We all get, and, and that's what it is. It's where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line? I'm tired of uh, walking into a grocery store, picking up what seems to be labeled as gray apes. Gray apes. These little, sometimes yellow, sometimes green, sometimes purple, ball-shaped fruits. And yeah, I'll buy them, I'll buy them. You'll buy them, we'll all consume them, and we're, we're just walking about, and everybody be asking you, what are you doing? I'm consuming gray apes. Gray apes. When was the last time, ladies and gentlemen, when was the last time you actually stopped and think, are there even any gray apes in my gray apes or is or is it all a lie have i been living a lie my entire life and then you start questioning everything and then things might get emotional ladies and gentlemen because you don't want to admit it you don't want to admit it to yourself you don't want to admit it to your neighbors you don't want to admit it to because we're just there grabbing these Sometimes yellow, sometimes green, sometimes purple. Different shades of red, different sizes, but nonetheless, they are tiny little balls. And we'll put them in our mouths and some me asking you, what are you doing? I'm just eating gray apes. It hurts right here. When I eat a lot of pizza, but that's just that's just IBS but it also hurts right here when I see people out there giving into the lie not looking to see what's out there they say it's gray apes we pop them back one at a time one at a time one at a when was the last time you actually saw any hint of gray apes and gray apes what is going on here? What is happening? I said to myself, what is happening? What is going on here? I kept asking my, what is going on here? What is happening? And I did the research and I looked into it. There hasn't been, my God, it's extremely hard to share these types of stories, but there hasn't been any gray apes and gray apes since at least 1907. 1907, since at least 1907, and this is heartbreaking, it's devastating, it's a whole facade, and we're all just playing along, man, one at a time, one at a time, chuck it in, chuck it in, chuck, chuck, chuck it in, and I do it, I catch myself doing it, chucking a grape. Oh, what do you have in there? Grapes. Grapes. No gray apes used to make grapes. And I'm just supposed to walk up in Nile. Oh, I'm on aisle five. I've already picked up my gray apes and I'm thinking I'm going to go and have me some grapes. You know, at least other products. 
when it's concentrated juice, it might not all be juice, but at least they're concentrating. At least they're focused. Sure, the number of oranges might be less in every bottle and every jar and every bag of orange juice. But at least there's some, there's at least the essence of juice or orange or whatever the fruit is. But grapes, man. Zero. Gray apes used in the production and consumption of gray apes. And I just figured I know sometimes, you know, hey man, hey man, I hate to break it to you, but somebody's got to, you know, we got to, we got to be able to stand up to this nonsense that stops with us. Uh, and I, for one, I will, I will not consume another gray ape. So I actually start, we're going to have to get to the bottom of this, man. If they're not going to be, you know, you're like, oh, uh, maybe the move was because they're endangered species. You're not supposed to use gray apes and grapes. Are they endangered? Have you seen their physiques? Have you seen the, have you seen a fucking, are, who's endangered? Gray ape versus human. A human, a person versus a gray ape. Who's in danger? Look how far we've had to go ahead and remove ourselves from the danger, putting many obstacles, many barriers, safe buildings, electricity, running water, men and women in militaries, men and women in policing, and all sorts of defenses, aerial defense, defense in the sea, defense in the bottom of the ocean, defense and gender a lot of that and we're defending and these grapes are just walking around fucking tits out balls flapping around walking out oh i'm gonna beat my and you and that's what it is one person versus a so who's more in danger you're like oh they're in danger is that, or is that what they want us to believe that once again think about it ask the difficult questions and sometimes it may be like, oh, this does it, you know? And that's when you know you're onto something. As soon, because that's what they want you to think, man. They're like, go in there, let him, let him think that he's buying grapes. Whilst it's just little balls of sugar. Nothing else. They got us sucking on balls of sugar. Fam, if I wanted to be sucking on balls of sugar. You know what I mean? But that's, that's just misdirection that is false advertising that is taking advantage of the people's trust but it stops with us today ladies and gentlemen not only are we going to change the grapes game we're going to change the dog ownership game we're going to change the uh men and women's uh, uniforms wearing game and there are plenty of other games that we're going to change around too it's just exciting times If you've been with me some time now, uh, you know, we share a lot together. We share personal stories, societal stories, uh, events that go. But one thing that did personally happen to me that I mentioned uh, a little while ago, I forget when, but at one point I did mention that I have, I had a neighbor. I had a neighbor. Uh, he had a dog. So he, so it's him and his partner him and his lady, him and his wife. I don't know what, yeah, I'm gonna say husband and wife. And they had a dog, a little cute little, but this dog has always been just barking, barking, barking all the time. Every time a neighbor walks by, the dog's barking. Every time comes out of the apartment, dog's barking. Barking, barking, barking. And a couple of times, the dog, you know, made a little move on your boy. Took a little nibble. Gave your boy a little scratchy poo on the old shin a couple of times. No big deal. You know, friendly neighbor, he knows. Everybody's, you know, whatevs. But then uh, I met this fella the other day in and around the elevator. And he's like, I got to tell you, man, we're moving. And, he, you know, and I'm like, low key, fam. Like, congratulations to the, I'm happy for the move and everything, but... It was, and it's not the doggo's fault. This is never the doggo's fault. It's just, 
I don't want to say anything, but I'm just saying it's good to if you're gonna have a if you're gonna have a doggo or even a cat, it's just good to like. Because animals, I love animals. I, 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 I love animals. I've had dogs. I'll play with dogs. I'll play with cats. I'll play with a damn turtle, a goldfish, whatever you got. A friggin' uh, pet seahorse. Put it on my shoulder and I'll pet that shit right there. Yeah, right there. That seahorse is getting fucking like one finger petting, dude. One finger petting with his little teeny tiny head. So I likes the nature and likes the animals. A little part of me, though, I was just like, he was like, he came in and I was like, oh, man, I'm, we're moving. I was like, oh, no. Oh, like, yes. But like, oh, no. You know what I mean? Because like, I, this is, again, this is not the dog. So it's just one of those dogs that is always barking. Elevator door opens, barking. Going out into the street, barking. I hear it all the time. Comes up the elevator, barking. Elevator stops. That other floor is still barking. And it's fine, it's cool. I love dogs. I like, but that's this is a little tiny dog. So I'm not saying anything about this thing, but like that's, I was hit with that news and I felt like I had to share with you because that's what it is. It's like, and after getting bitten twice or like you know, uh, avoid you know. Luckily, I didn't get rabies or nothing. But at the same rate, am I like you know? I'm I'm happy for everybody moving on up, and down the street wherever it may be. But overall, like, I was just like a little part of me was like, oh, yes, congratulations. But also, I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, you know, fuck yeah, dude, you know, because I don't have to listen to this doggo yappity yap every time that's out in the, you know, and it's like, here I am, because I'm like, uh, you know, and that's what it is. You don't want to, it's a little dog. You don't want to be intimidated by a little. I know I'm not, but that's what it is. When this little dog comes around, this fellas, I'm just like, yo, take the elevator. If I see, like, if it's what it is, man. You get bitten twice, and it's just like, I love dogs. Uh, and this this little dog was a little bit like, it's it's on the, it's on the, you know, it's a little feisty, little. But that's cool. That's fine. No big deal. I'm happy for everybody. But at the same rate, I think he was going in for the reaction. I'm like, and that's one of those neighbors that you don't even like. Sometimes, like, you see a neighbor you lived in a building or a place where so you see him like maybe a handful of times, and he just like came in with the news and he's like, "I'm moving, we're moving." I was like, "Oh no!" But in my mind, low key. And should you be a fan of the show? Because I don't know. Maybe he watches. Maybe she watches. Uh, you know, all love. All love, but still, it's gonna be tight not listening to that dog bark in the morning, evening, midday barking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very honest. I'm gonna be very honest. So, you know, bon voyage, as they say in France. And uh, hell yeah to the French, dude. They're doing it. Like the French, uh, when it comes to cheese and wine and protesting, they do. People get out in France, man. People are wild in France. And it doesn't get any coverage, which is wild, because it's like a lot of people apparently just, you know, and I don't know much about anything, but it's just like, whoa, what is going on? And this guy, Macron, is like, what is it? The old pension, I believe, but that's what it is, man. People are, uh, whatever you're doing, is all I'm trying to say is that I don't even know why, uh, you know, I don't even know where we went today in terms of uh, doggos were on my mind. Uh, neighbor, he knows who are moving. Uh, no, I genuinely do wish everybody the best. Uh, and yes, yeah, sure. It was the dog a little bit, you know, whatever. Just, I don't blame the dog. And I, I don't particularly, uh, I'm not blaming anybody here, but I'm just saying, it's just going to be, you know, it's going to be less noise. I'll still, like, it's, can I be a little bit, you know, it's what it is, is that it's just less noise, is what it is. And I feel good about that. And I feel good about it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me once again here today. Uh, we share little bit of this little bit of that every Monday Wednesday and Friday we stay connected uh, you know thank you for being a part of my journey being a part of my life thank you for letting me be a part of your journey and your life whatever you're doing whatever you're concentrating on whether it is a sporting endeavor whether it is a business whether it is starting a family maybe uh, some maybe you're finishing a family Maybe you're in a family that's beefing with another family and trying to, you know, because that's sometimes life and you didn't choose it, but you were born in a particular situation where you're not beefing families. 
but you might be you might be like the second or third generation beefing families and you find you find yourself attracted to one of the you know well, oh man this beefing family it's got a pretty you know that's a got a daughter same as your age and you're like kind of vibing but family's been beefing for some time and you're like how do we squ how do we squash this beef uh have sex baby have sex because that once those once those genes mix then the grandkids will come along and then all of a sudden these families that have been beefing for whatever reason you know i don't know why they're beefing there might be you know oh uh whatever it is if you you know think about it think about it have a baby with uh if that's your i don't know what your life is but there's got to be a couple of still remaining beefing families that are like oh we gotta maintain the power in, in this borough and the five burrows of a but you, you got a barrel you got you got a you got a you got a little you got a street corner you got a street corners maybe possibly plural street corners uh you're attracted to streets that are shaped in 90 degree angles if they gave you a street center mid middle of the street you'd be like nah i want a street corner son don't give me none of that round edged corners i want a corner corner street corner if it's not 90 degrees not interested not this guy city circle no thanks I'll take the corner spot, please. Whatever you're doing, essentially, is what I'm trying to tell you is to have a great Friday because it is a good Friday. Keep on rocking and rolling. Keep on uh, living your best lives to the best of your abilities. And we pick it up every Monday. And we just, we just, you know, we connect and we do this on a regular basis. I love you again. Thank you for all the love and support. Sending it right back at you. Where can you find these videos? Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays on Instagram. Follow me there if you like. If you want to check it out in full length videos, they are available on YouTube. Check out Rob Sadri or Glad You Made It. You'll find all the videos. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button, help out uh, the show grow little by little enjoy the videos i hope you like them and if you want to give back fiscally there's always patreon.com slash rob sadry and that's what it is baby one step at a time and uh again have a great fantastic friday enjoy your weekends sending all love talk soon peace out